Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth 4 for another weekly update. Um, we're going to talk about the health stuff in a minute because last week when this an adventure. Um, uh, obviously I didn't put up any videos last week except for a loot crate. Um, I wanted to do a pokey crate, but it's currently lost in the ether like it always is. Um, you gotta love the United States Postal Service tracking. It's just like, pre-shipment info sent February 16th. No updates afterwards. I'm going to, it's going to be delivered and then the whole thing is going to be just like, oh yeah, it was in Oklahoma for two weeks, living it up at a hotel somewhere. Um, that That's usually how it is. Uh, I've come to, I've come to uh, just accept that. Uh, and let's see. Uh, so yeah, I'm... In terms of energy, I'm feeling better than I was. Uh, also, last week, I just... Well, we'll talk about it, as I said, but I did not have any... The stupid ear doesn't stay up. I didn't have any opportunity to record, really. Um, I have a bit more energy, so I might record the new Let's Play... Start a new Let's Play today or tomorrow. So, yay! Let's hope and pray for Dovi, please. Um... Let's see, I don't have any projects up on much games or Let's Players Unknown or anything because the same reasons, I haven't had any time to do anything. Um, let's see, what is interesting happening in the world? The Switch is coming out this week, and oh my god, am I hyped for it. <laughs> Um, you know, people uh, have been getting like copies of it, like Chugga Conroy and completionist already like nintendo sent them stuff and obviously like news review organizations you know like nintendo force and game explain all those people so they've been just raving ranting and raving about the the switch and um i'm hyped uh we're gonna have a midnight launch event at the game at, the, at my GameStop, so i might go to that if i have the energy I'm probably going to go to that even if I don't have the energy and just sit on the floor or back in the car or something after I make the 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 payment and just wait till 12. Uh, it's going to be good. Snipper Clips is now a uh, launch title, which I'm really happy about because it's, that game looks amazing as a party game. I can't wait till the Runaway Guys do it because I know the Runaway Guys are going to be doing that four-player stupid action. It's going to be fantastic. Or just the two-player story or whatever. But also Super Bomberman R because Proton John is going to be doing um, stuff with that, uh, with the online uh, to replace Bomberman X0. And obviously Zelda. Um, one two switch I think is gonna be fun it's gonna be the gimmicky game of the bunch but I think it's gonna be fun and um, yeah um, I was originally also gonna get Binding of Isaac after Earth plus but that was delayed till later in the month so whatever uh, so yeah fun times also John and Christy are gonna be visiting the following week the week of the 12th so that's gonna be great what are we gonna do Hopefully I won't be dead. Wouldn't that be great? That would be great. If, if I actually have energy. That will be great. Um, <sighs> sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, video game stuff is cool. Uh, I've been playing a whole load of Fire Emblem Heroes. Because it's addicting. Still playing Final Fantasy Record Keeper on the mobile also because I like that game and I put a lot of time into getting good stuff for it. Um, I really haven't been playing any other games because I just haven't had the strength to, but Poochie and Yoshi World, Woolly World is still good. Um, I highly recommend it if you don't have the Wii U one or even if you do and you have the 3DS, the new 3DS, do it. The new 3 it's a bit slow on the 3DS, but the new 3DS is good. Um, let's see. I did something stupid on Twitter today. I made a thing with, with the One Winged Angel theme and um, 
the the ding music from America's Next Top Model. You should go look it up. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. My life has not been particularly interesting lately, except when it comes to my health. So if you remember last week, last week I was talking to you about all the fun experiences I had. Uh, in the hospital and afterwards, almost going back to the hospital, all the various sensory things that have been going on messing up my body. Uh, so an update from that, if you want to, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, please watch that because it's still relevant. I'm, I need to put my legs up because my body is killing me. We'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, please watch that update. I know it's like 20 minutes. You can, you can put it on the 1.5 speed. It's a lot easier to listen to me that way, um, and it doesn't take away the ad revenue from before and after the video, which you do have ad block off, right? Because one other thing is that because of the whole PewDiePie thing that's going on, which I have my own opinion on, and I don't think he's an anti-Semite, is my general um, statement on that, and I think that he made a stupid joke, several stupid jokes that we're in really bad taste but he's not a bad person like he donates a lot to charity and things like that and I don't I realize that that doesn't equate someone with being a good person but it is a good trait I don't think he's a bad person is what I'm saying I don't think he's an anti-semite I think he's just made a really some really stupid decisions um maybe needs to be a bit more sensitive uh but because of that Disney started clamping down on Maker Studios because Disney owns Maker Studios, which I'm partnered with, which is really cool. I don't have it here, but every time I get checks, it's from Walt Disney Company. I'm just like, ee! Um, <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, so Disney clamped down on Maker, and now Maker, it looks like, is going to be shrinking its partner program from all the people to like 300 or something depending on the the report you see uh the number varies but i got an email saying from partners uh, from from maker saying we're going to be changing how we're dealing with our partners we're going to become more personal and i'm like y yeah but my contract is up in august so if y'all want to turn off ad block and if you don't get an ad on the video you can refresh it which is what i do like with other people's videos refresh it watch through the ad unless it's like one of those four minute ads or like 30 minute ads um i'd be grateful to get all the ad revenue i can before i'm fired <laughs> uh, i won't be fired i'll just they won't renew my contract and i'll have to find another organization that probably doesn't have as good of a of a uh, money split so if y'all want to help me out there I'd be very grateful. I know a lot of you do already the, out of the 30 people that watch my stuff, but um, it's a little bit of your time and it helps out. It really does. Like, I used to make, like, oh, I can't talk about it. I'm making about half of what I did when I first started uh, putting ads on my videos the previous year, 2015. So, um,. If you can help out with that, please. Anyway, I'm sorry that like I'd spent four minutes talking about ad revenue. Um, so health. So yeah, go go. What I was saying is go. Please go watch that video first because it's still relevant in many ways. Um, but a continuation. So since then, uh, after that Sunday, so Monday, uh, I woke up in the morning. And my hair started falling out. So um, one of the effects of uh, chemotherapy is that it uh, attacks and inflames all the areas that have uh, quickly dividing cells in your body. Um, and the purpose is that cancer cells divide really quickly. They, they just keep dividing and dividing and dividing. They don't really have anything inside of them. Uh, which is why tumors form. It's just a whole bunch of dead mass that starts, you know, eating uh, away at your insides or um, taking blood for itself and making itself grow and things like that. So the the 
idea behind chem re uh, conventional chemotherapy is to attack quickly dividing cells and kill them. So that's mainly the cancer, but it also is your stomach lining uh, and your intestinal uh, lining because that's that has to adapt quickly to your body. So, uh, which is why people get nauseous and things like that. And your hair is your the other quickly dividing things. Also, sometimes people lose their nails. Thank God that's never happened to me because oh my God that would be disgusting. <laughs> absolutely disgusting um but uh but the hair divides really quickly um so when i first 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 in 2013 started getting chemo all my hair fell out after a few of the really heavy chemo sessions um in 2015 when i was doing um uh, two chemo, chemo agents called Arunotecan and Temidar, uh, lightly. It's the, it was when I was uh, it was when I was taking it at home and just kind of feeling sick for a week and then being okay for two weeks and and taking a different medication. My hair started growing back because it wasn't strong enough to 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 uh, make my hair fall out. So for the past treatment of the immunotherapy. Uh, in order to inflame the cancer cells a little and make the immunotherapy agents target them better, I got some chemo, which was the same dosage that I was taking in 2015 and 2016, uh, early 2016, <clears throat> that wasn't affecting my hair at all. So I was like, yeah, okay, cool. I've tolerated this before. Lo and behold, Monday, my hair just which is why I'm wearing this Pikachu hat and not showing you my beautiful, luxurious hair, because I no longer have beautiful, luxurious hair. I currently look like Gollum from The Lord of the Rings, and I've taken to going around just saying, Stupid fat hermitses! The ruins the... I'm looking for, like, little golden rings and things. And I haven't been able to find any, although I do have Lord of the Rings Monopoly that came with a one ring to rule them all. Um, but I don't remember where I put the ring. We lost it. We can't find such precious. It's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, so yeah. I, I look, I look absolutely horrible. I really hope that I don't lose my eyebrows. That this stops somehow before my eyebrows fall out. Because I can wear hats, but you can't wear eyebrow hats. Like... That doesn't look good, and it makes your head too hot. I guess I could just take a Sharpie or get my uh, Nori back out and do the fooly cooly thing with the, the seaweed eyebrows, but um, that doesn't work too much. It's very hard to keep it stuck on your face, especially... Eyebrows. Especially when, um, when you're sweating a lot or, or whatever. But yeah, so... From Monday through now, with my hair still coming out, um, all my hair fell out. Just for no particular reason. Um, the, the doctors think that the immunotherapy reaction that I had made a super reaction to the chemo, which made the hair all just pop out. Um, another theory is the stress that I've endured made my hair fall out. Another theory is the lack of nutrition that I had for two weeks, meaning I didn't eat for two weeks, helped. Or all three of these combined to form Captain Hair Loss. <sighs> Sucks! I've been growing this hair for two years, two friggin' years, and now you can't see it. It's like, it was so long, it was all the way down. Look at that, it was... It was so good, I was gonna do like the Gru's thing or try to style it into a Zach Fair thing, but no. But no. Uh, never told you that your life would be this way. Anyway, yeah, I'm just, uh, so I'm gonna be really like miserable and wear, wear things like this for the next year until my hair actually grows to a, a length in which I don't feel like I look like a dead person. Like, you know, it's one thing feeling bad when, when you're 
getting chemo and you're suffering from cancer. It's another thing looking like you have cancer. Like with the scraggly hair or being completely bald with the no eyebrows thing. Like I'm very vain. I My facial and head, like I, I'm very, I don't care about like the shirts I wear and how stupid it looks or my pants or whatever, but my hair and my face, I'm very vain at how I present myself to people because I don't want people to focus on that aspect of me. Because pity sucks. It really does. It hurts and it gnaws away at your soul and how your uh, how people treat you, how how uh, your your relationship with them. It really does, and it ruins it. It ruins it. <sighs> but uh, yeah. So how else is Dovey feeling? So Tuesday we made the executive decision to go check in back into the hospital because wasn't eating still um i was throwing up whatever i was eating um because my stomach was uh, going crazy and uh i wasn't drinking a lot and i wasn't getting like any nutrients so we decided to check back into the hospital tuesday they gave me a whole load of fluids i started eating again um started trying to sort out the bowel issues i was having because my god uh, that was something else, and I'm not going into that one. <laughs> you don't have to hear that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so we stayed over Tuesday night into Wednesday. Uh, we talked to a whole lot of doctors. I saw a neurologist because I still have the sensitivity to cold on my face and my arms and in my mouth. It's not as bad. I can drink things that aren't room temperature. They're slightly below room temperature now. Uh, but it's like I still have to warm up water before I wash my hands and things. Um, I still have, I, I had it off yesterday because it's been in the seventies here for the past like three days, but I had to turn my space heater back on, which once again, putting my other foot up, which once again, is just something I've never done. I've never had in my room before. Like I usually keep my window open throughout the winter to keep it like 40 degrees. Uh, I can't do that now. I my room is, my room is a heat box because otherwise I would just have to wear a sweater all day, and that's not good. That's no good. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so Wednesday we talked to doctors who were just like, talked to neurologists who were just like, ran some tests, and they're just like, essentially uh, they have no idea why the hell this happened, and several oncologists and neurologists we talked to said this is not... A reaction that anybody ever had before <laughs> and nobody ever had before to the um, to the immunotherapy treatment literally the first case <laughs> it wasn't it's not just like it, when when we when we uh, were given the uh, when we were given the option to get this you know they give you a um, a whole thing saying you know these are the possible side effects of, of this drug possible side effects of this drug and you have like the likely cases the unlikely cases the rare cases so like you know like the likely cases are are you know one in ten the unlikely cases one hundred the the rare cases one in a thousand one ten thousand things like that this this was this was one in zero uh so So, yeah, the doctors have no idea what the hell happened. So, essentially, they, you know, they kept me... We decided to stay over one more night because I needed a bit more fluids. I was just starting to eat again, so we just wanted to establish that a little bit more. Um, and uh, we wanted to make sure they took me off the fluids overnight, and we saw Thursday morning. We just wanted to make sure that Thursday morning... I didn't feel like crap again, and, um, like, I could actually get out of the hospital and go, and, so, like, they brought a physical therapy person to make sure I could actually walk, which I could at the time, <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second, um, and, uh, yeah, so we left Thursday early afternoon, um, and since then I have been eating, which is great, um, I've been drinking a whole lot of Powerades. That's pretty much all I've been drinking, actually. Coffee in the morning and then Powerade all day. Um, but it's drinking and that's electrolytes and things, so it's something. 
Uh, then, and again, the hair is just coming out. Um, and uh, so I, I have a doctor's appointment Thursday again to uh, see if anything has changed. It's not a doctor's appointment to, to make a plan for future things, unless I'm better by then, which I won't be. Um, but it's, we'll see. Uh, but, um, I was originally supposed to, like, be scheduled to go back for my next round of immunotherapy this week. Like, it was, this is, this is three weeks later from that. It ain't happening. Um, but, so starting yesterday, all of a sudden, all of my joints, like my knuckles, my, my elbows, shoulders, neck, knees, toes, head, shoulders, feet, and, shut up. <laughs> knees and toes. Um, they all started killing me. And I can't take conventional painkillers because my blood started thinning out as I was in the hospital last week. Like, uh, when I was, the previous week, my blood started going back up again, hemoglobin and platelets and everything. And then when I was in the hospital, it just started tanking again for no reason. Once again, no reason for it to happen. The doctors are just like, because <sighs> the, the immunotherapy agent is only supposed to last while they're administering it, which is why it was a 10 hour infusion for four days in a row, because it's supposed that that's, that's when it, Ha and then it just goes away. It's, none of this is supposed to be happening. Uh, and they're saying, uh, so we're thinking maybe it's a continued part of the super reaction to the chemotherapy because that is, that affects my blood. But that shouldn't be happening because it was a small dose that doesn't do that. So maybe like it reactivated the 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 dying. Like, it reactivated killing off my bone marrow from the radiation therapy that I got in no at the end of November, early December, or something. We have no idea. We literally have no idea what the hell is going on with me. Um, and then what started happening... So, and that was also related to the changing weather, because the changing weather is... Like, I'm really susceptible to the barometer. I've just always been since my back surgery and everything and another condition that I've had since uh that that's hereditary but uh so that's been killing me and it was there was a thunderstorm yesterday in February that doesn't happen <laughs> it's not supposed to be thunderstorms in February like you don't get that type of barometer uh but it happened and it really hurt but um so that started happening and then the muscles in my legs decided to just stop working like i stretch my leg now and it's not like it's not just that the muscle feels uh tight which you know i just not used to moving around for a month almost so it's that's understandable but it's not that it's that like when I when I try to walk and it and it stretches the muscle it feels like knives just like in both my legs which is weird because my other leg this one ever since the back surgery in 2013 uh, has had no feeling in it uh, it's been it's been numb because of nerve damage because um, a uh, spinal surgery they they had to work around my spinal cord uh, so this has been completely numb for four, yeah, four years now, almost four years. And it still hurts. The muscle still hurts. Uh, so that's been, that started yesterday and it's been continuing today, which has been making it very hard to get up and move around. And did I mention that I look like Gollum? So, yeah. Last week was an adventure. Um, I'm getting better. Even though things are popping up that weren't before. And my neck, oh my god, it hurts right now. Um, I'm eating and I'm drinking. Which means that I'm going to start getting energy back. 
and my body is hopefully going to be able to start moving itself again. Um, hopefully that'll mean that the, my blood will start working, otherwise I'm just going to be in and out for transfusions like I was in January. Um, now we'll see what we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, so that's the fun times in Dovey's life. Um, I do thank you very much, all of you, for your support. Uh, it has been, it has been a very hard point in my life. I haven't suffered this much since 2015, where mysteriously February is not a good time for me. February 2015, when Kirby Thon 1, which never happened, happened. I was in the hospital because of a, a severe something with my bowels that they never really figured out and they were just able to eventually stop. Um, where I was just in the bathroom with se severe diarrhea for two weeks straight, I think, in the hospital. Which was terrible. <laughs> oh my god, was that terrible. Um, it was the worst, it was so bad, um, oh god, uh, and then it was, that was the worst thing since, since the heavy chemo in 2013, so every two years with my chemo treatment, something bad happens, right, 2013 to 2015 to 2017, 14, 15, 16, 17, every, every, every second year, I don't know, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, this will, this will be the fifth year that I'm battling cancer, um, amazing, isn't it, I'm surprised, <laughs> surprise is still alive, but yeah, we'll talk about that more in June or May or whenever it is that I start getting chemo. Um, I don't know whenever I celebrate the uh, anniversary of, of starting the fight against cancer. If I, if I did it last year when I got the surgery or if I talked about it both times, I don't know. But anyway, thank you all very much for your support, especially over the past two weeks. It's been... It's been an extremely tough time for me and it's continuing to be an extremely tough time for me and it's going to be for at least six months before hopefully six months before my hair actually starts growing back in uh because it took it took three or four months before like the little bits started growing in like i can't wear this anymore because it doesn't fit like it it needed hair volume on my head so i have to wear hats and stuff now which don't fit either and it really sucks. I've been I've been wearing this hat, but the reason why I'm not wearing it is because it doesn't it doesn't well it, this doesn't entirely cover the back, but this doesn't cover the sides, and it just looks terrible right now. Um, but yeah, I look like death. I really look like death, and it, I don't want people to see that because I'm supposed to be the happy per. I'm supposed to be the one that supports you guys. I'm supposed to be the person that makes you guys happy and smile and laugh and forget about the troubles in your lives for a little time. This isn't supposed... This isn't the way it's supposed to be. But it is. And once again, thank you for the support. Thank you for turning off Adblock and all that stuff. And uh, thank you for being you. And thank you for surviving your own lives. Because everybody has their own troubles, and everybody's troubles are significant to themselves. And it's cool to see people powering through. And it's, you know, we can all do it together. I know we can. We'll get through this too, eventually. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you all very much for watching. This has been Several Till Four, the weekly update. Hopefully look forward to a new Let's Play, maybe starting tomorrow, starting sometime this week. It's something that people have been asking for and looking forward to, and it's not Superman. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.